I'm Suzanne Harrison, and I'm co-chair of the Inspired by Love campaign. I'm Brian Hetherington. I'm a co-chair along with Suzanne Harrison. My name is Don Palmer. My name is Janet Prill. My name's Tom Berardino, and I'm a member of the leadership team of the Inspired by Love campaign. We joined St. Mark's in 1997, coming here out of New York City, and uh, got three kids baptized and got into our life there. We've attended St. Mark's since 2015, back when we uh, only had two children, and we're delighted that our family has grown to four, and they've come to know the St. Mark's community as we have. Charlene and I have been members of St. Mark's for the past 40 years. We've raised our family here, our daughter was married here, and we experienced tremendous spiritual growth. The community of love that my family has found here at St. Mark's has been so important to John, my husband and I, and to my children as they've grown up here and been able to participate in the youth group trips and mission trips and pilgrimages and I believe it will give my children a wonderful foundation to take into their future. Father Peter has worked for the past 12 years to build a real world-class team. World-class clergy, music, operations, development, communications. The fellowship and the lessons that we've learned, the community involvement, the Mayfair, all of it. The legacy that Father Peter, Father Justin, and Reverend Elizabeth have created here has never been stronger. It's a wonderful parish. It's a parish that's been around for 257 years. So a parish that lasts 257 years has to be a pretty resilient parish. Of course, during the pandemic, uh, we saw the, the needs of the community uh, and the way that St. Mark's responded to the needs of the community. Not only our church community, but the broader community in New Canaan and Connecticut, uh, and now around the world, including uh, my parents up in Canada, who are now regular attendees. I've watched over the last 10 or 11 years this parish grow in spirituality, its parishioners, its clergy, and its staff. And we're in a wonderful position today, and we need to ensure that we continue to grow from the space that has been created for us. This is the time for St. Mark's. A church has a great opportunity to really lead our community and, and take on some of the bigger issues that we're struggling with. And if we think about the kinds of energy and returns that uh, we'll get on those investments, it really inspires us. So we're starting a campaign, Inspired by Love, which will cover the annual stewardship program and a capital campaign. What we need in this campaign this year is for every pledging unit, every family in this parish to join and support the stewardship campaign. Father Peter likes to talk about money as energy. And in fact, that's exactly the fuel that is needed right now by St. Mark's to support the team and these ministries that sustain us all. Our family thought through our own aspirational uh, contribution to the capital campaign to sustain the good work that St. Mark's is doing. And I would invite you uh, as members of the St. Mark's community to consider your own aspirational gift uh, to help sustain the good work of St. Mark's and our church community. Now it's our turn to provide the energy needed to sustain this great team and these ministries for St. Mark's to take it to the next level and into the future. Everything you have, whether it be your spouse or your grandchildren, your job, your intellectual or artistic capabilities, or your financial resources, are a gift from God. And what you do with that gift is your gift back to God. Please join us in this campaign and contribute. And blessings to all.